I'm Kat from Texas. Please like and subscribe because MSA will give $1,000 to one lucky person who subscribes in the next seven days. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be an artist. When mom would get me paint, I decorated the walls. Mom, and look, my new masterpiece. You like it? Oh, good Lord, Kat. We just got the walls painted. Now I have to clean this up before the guests come. No matter what I did, I never seemed to impress mom. She grew up in Luxembourg, and when her rich best friend moved to town, she became totally obsessed with her son and how perfect he was. I just have to say, I've never painted on the walls. Cat, you can learn a thing or two from Jacques. Mom always told me how art schools were expensive and pointless, and I should choose something better like Jacques who wanted to be a doctor. If that wasn't enough, boy was he annoying. Hey, why did your parents name you Cat? You look more like a hippo to me. Go away already. When no one was looking, he would pull my hair out of nowhere. Ow! You had something in your hair. <laughs> you are such a liar. Urgh. If that wasn't enough, he would get weirdly protective of me. One time, we went to the water park and I was playing with some boys. It was all fun, but then Jacques came out of nowhere and pulled me out as if I was drowning. <coughs> what was that? You looked like you were drowning. Are you all right? Moron, I was fine. The guy drove me nuts. I was so relieved when Jacques and his family moved back to Luxembourg. One time when I was 15, mom told us how grandma would be visiting us. I had never even met her or even heard of her before. So, uh, my mom is coming. It would only be a day or two. Dad got so mad, he walked right out. I was shocked. Mom and dad never fought. Turns out, Dad hated Mom's family, and they hated him right back. That's why we never saw them. Dad cooled down and told us he would not be there for the visit, but he supported the need for us to reunite. The weird reaction made me super nervous for the visit, but when Grandma came, she looked like a queen. Bonjour. I am so happy to see you all. It's been too long. Whose fault is that? Mon chéri, I want to put all that behind us. Although we uh, disapprove of you marrying a poor man, it's clear you are happy. She had dinner with us and told my grandma all about art and how I wanted to go to an art school. I have a great idea. Darling, please, let my granddaughter live with me for a while. I want to make things right. I will send her to the best school, and afterward, I will pay for whatever college she chooses, including art school. Mom was not happy, but I begged. You said you couldn't afford it, but she can. Finally, Mom agreed. Grandma took me on a private jet. When I got to the huge mansion she lived in, I was mesmerized. My room was the size of my parents' entire apartment. Then I met my aunt, who, for some reason, reminded me of the Wicked Witch of the West. Perhaps it was the nose. Um, maybe her eyes. Remember, I've got eyes on you. I then realized she was the complete package, a witch. At dinner, my aunt's daughter Adele sat next to me. She looked really cute and I hoped she was nicer than her mom. It's nice to meet you. Out of nowhere, she knocked my glass out of my hand. Then she screamed loud enough for grandma to hear. Look at what Katrina did. That glass is worth more than she is. I did not. Why are you lying? Adele leaned in closer, whispering. Oh, why are you lying, huh? Whoa, I had to take my words back. She wasn't cute. She actually reminded me of Dudley, Harry Potter's cousin. The wicked mom-daughter duo could be mean to me all they wanted to, but I wasn't gonna let them scare me off. This was my only ticket to art school. Living with those two nasty witches under the same roof was a nightmare. The two would constantly make me do chores when grandma wasn't around. I so wanted to talk to mom, but decided not to tell her because I knew she'd be worried. One time, my aunt told me to pick some flowers for the dinner table. But uh, not the blue ones. She is allergic to them. And then grandma started sneezing like crazy. I told you to get the blue ones, you careless girl. She is allergic to pink. Bring my dinner in my room. I can't breathe here. When she left, Adele and my aunt gave me the most wicked grins. Gosh, I hated them so much. One summer vacation ended. I started school and was completely overwhelmed when I saw all the strangers, but then I saw a familiar face. It was Jacques, and he looked so different. 
gone was the short boy who pulled my hair. I hugged him tightly, and after small talk, he said, Are you here for the art school? How did you know? Duh. Our moms are best friends. I know everything. Come, let me show you around. Having Jacques around calmed me down a lot. During lunch, I sat with him, but suddenly Adele joined us. Jacques, why are you talking to her? My mom told me that her dad is so poor, he smells like garbage. My dad smells great. You wish your dad was as cool as cats. Adele looked like she'd been slapped, and now it was my turn to give her a wicked grin. That kind of backfired because after that day, Adele made all the kids say mean stuff to me like, ew, she's poor, get away. Though I ignored them, I was getting so tired of it all. She even made crazy stories about me, how my parents ran off to be in the circus, and that I was on the Discovery Channel for having abnormally large feet and whatnot. I did my best to spend time with Jacques and ignore that witch. It was actually being adorable. He would pick me flowers and tell me about what a struggle it had been moving back to Luxembourg and how much he missed his parents, who were free from all the drama here. It made me miss them too. One day as I entered school, Adele and her minions started mimicking me. Ew, I am cat. I wanna be an artist. <laughs> Newsflash, you are nothing but trash. Go back to where you came from. Oh, I was so done with Adele now. Why are you trying to bully me into leaving? Mom told me why you are here. You want Grandma to like you more, so she gives all her money to you. I just want to go to art school. Liar, either you leave, or I will make your life miserable. I had no idea why it was all about the money for Adele and her mom. I shook my head and left. She was a lost cause. One day as I walked by the park, I saw the strangest scene. Adele kissing a boy who looked familiar. I waited for her in her room that night so I could talk to her when she got home. Who was that boy you were kissing? Suddenly, she turned white as a sheet. She begged me not to tell Aunt and even offered me money. I just want to know why you're keeping this a secret. Don't you even know what happened to your mom? Your dad was our family's cleaner. Your mom fell in love with him and he stole from the family. And your mom actually left with him. Since then, this family doesn't trust poor people. My boyfriend, he is the gardener. Mom will kill me if she finds out. I had never heard that story before. I never thought my dad would do something like that. And I wondered if it was true. Well, I promised Adele that her secret was safe with me. The whole family drama and the Adele thing had me so occupied that when Jacques asked me out, I was completely caught off guard. He took me to the nicest restaurant, and there I told him everything happening at Grandma's place. I wanted his opinion on everything, and he told me not to worry. But suddenly he smiled at me and leaned forward to wipe off ketchup from my chin. Gosh, you are still the girl I had a crush on. You had a crush on me? Why do you think I always teased you? I went about it terribly. I was embarrassed back then. But what can I say? I was a stupid kid. I had no idea you liked me. But, you know, I kinda like you. Now, Jacques then leaned in and kissed me. It was an amazing night. But when I got home, the whole family was waiting for me in the living room. Who were you out with this late? It was that boy, wasn't it? I looked over at Adele and realized she hadn't said anything. She knew I was keeping her secret and she wouldn't rat me out. Her mom was just determined to make me look bad. I don't see how that matters. Her awful dad stole from us. This girl is probably as stupid as her mom was. That's when I heard Jacques' voice behind me. You forgot your sweater. Cat, is this the boy you are seeing? Mother, we are going to repeat history if you do not send her back right away. I know this boy. He may not be as bad as Katrina's father, but he is not on our level. Look at her, just 15 and going out making boyfriends? Ugh. Um... I am pretty sure Adele is also 15, but she has a boyfriend. She is allowed and Kat isn't. How convenient. Suddenly, my aunt's <gasps> eyes jumped out of her head. Is this true, Adele? Do you have a boyfriend you never told me about? Adele was sure about to cry, so I jumped in. A ex-boyfriend, but it's over now. They broke up last month. Adele looked relieved. My aunt crossed her arms and left the room. I walked Jacques out, but he wouldn't look at me. Why do you want to stay here? knowing how evil they are. I mean, yeah, they think they're above my dad, but they were just mad because dad stole from the family. It's different now. You believe that? My mom was here when your parents were kids, and she told me, 
Your aunt was in love with your dad. She was always jealous of your mom because your dad chose her. She framed your dad and forced him to leave the country. Of course your mom went with him. He left me there, feeling ashamed for ever doubting my dad. I should have known my aunt was jealous. She hated me from the start and turned everyone against me. How could she hate her own sister so much? At that moment, I just missed mom so much and I wanted to just hug her. So I called her. I shouldn't have come. What happened? Are they treating you badly? Aunt is evil and I can't stay anymore. I'm coming home. Listen, I left because I felt like I had no other choice. I want you to come home, but I also need you to stand up for yourself. As soon as I hung up the phone, I heard crying. I realized it was coming from Adele's room. What happened? This is your stupid boyfriend's fault. My boyfriend has been fired. I should have known not to date him. This is not his fault. Your mom got him fired, just like she got my dad fired. And we're not gonna let her get away with it. We? I know you hate me, but you have to trust me on this one. I don't hate you. I just didn't want you here. But if you want to help me help Gabriel, maybe you're not as bad as I thought. We stayed up late that night, and I realized that without her mom around, Adele was actually a nice person. I went to breakfast early, and it was just my aunt at the table. Just so you know, this is my last day here. I just want to know why you hate mom, your own sister, so much. Why did you frame my father? Your father did steal. I saw it with my own eyes. You were obsessed with him. That's why you lie and pretend to hate poor people. Because you're embarrassed he chose mom. It's time for you to get over it. I don't hate poor people. Just him. Then why did Gabriel's dad get fired? Did he steal something too? I don't know how you know about that, but I had to do what was best for my daughter. Oh, so history repeats itself. Wow, did you falsely accuse him of something? Just like you falsely accused my dad? Guess what? I did set up Gabriel's father. Just like I set up your dad. He didn't steal anything. I lied. But what are you going to do about it? Suddenly, Grandma appeared in the doorway with Adele. She had heard everything. I can't believe you are the reason I haven't had a relationship with my daughter all these years. Adele can date anyone she wants. And if you say a word, I'll have you kicked out. Katrina, I am so sorry. I gave her a hug. I told her I loved her, but I needed to go home. Grandma assured me she'd still support me going to art school. I gave Adele a hug too, and we promised to stay in touch. Just when I got my bags ready to go to the airport, I saw Jacques waiting for me. My mom told me you were going back home, but I had to give you a ride myself. I'm sorry about what I said. I just know you deserve better than these people. I care for you. And uh, I'm moving back to America because I want to be close to you. Oh, close to me? Why, so you can tug on my hair like when we were kids? No, silly, because I love you. I love you too.